Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Talos Principle Road to Gehenna DLC. Uh, oops. There we go. We. <gasps> bunnies! There's bunnies! I didn't even know that was something I could do! <laughs> I was just jumping after landing. And we cut to an island of bunnies! Dude! It's adorable! Look at these bunnies! They're kinda... creepy. <laughs> They're little bunnies! They're little fabric bunnies! Well, this is an easter egg I didn't know about. Mainly because this is a blind playthrough, of course. Oh, there's little bunnies everywhere! This is adorable. I guess the only way to get back is to reset, unfortunately. But, uh... <laughs> bunnies! We got to the bunny island! That's adorable. Alright, well... Yeah, we can't jump there. That's so cute. Who knew... ...that there were bunnies there? Yeah, like, if you just keep jumping, it'll- it'll send you right there. You can see from the trees that there's something there. Alright, let's explore around. That society is a city and contains in itself the end and perfection of government. First founded that we might live, but continued that we may live happily. Oh, interesting. falls off the edge. Can we just lose it forever? What would we use this for? Like, we can do this, but... to what avail? And why else would there be a hill here? Like, really? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Colliding beams. Like, unless we can take it with us, could we? No, I don't think we can. Unless, like, I get it just the right spot. No, it doesn't, doesn't... it's not working. All right, what do we got going on here? What does this go to? A window. Star in here, huh? That's 
probably what the box is for. Of course, we gotta figure out how to get it in here. So, let's see... Ha! <laughs> ha! I didn't know that worked that way, but I'm glad it does. What? Oh right, cause it's... it's still trying to... yeah... Okay, well whatever. <laughs> Purple beam. Uh... What are we gonna do... about this? First, we need to get that, probably. I think I know what we have to do. Try this one more time, shall we? Hey, it seems like it's working. Ta da! Now, we need to get the star. Borg! Get that box in here. Oh gosh, how do I get out this way? Box in. That's that's what's confusing me. That's 
not high enough. Obviously the answer is yes. Yep, scripted jumps for the win. And from here we can go pretty much anywhere. Of course, in specific, we want to go over here. the messages. Congratulations for being the only remaining active user your profile status has increased to 11 hacker. Receiving incoming direct message connection from admin. What? Thank you for accepting my invitation. I'm sorry it has taken us this long to meet you properly. I would ask if you were still enjoying your time in Gehenna, but with the streets now empty, you haven't left much to enjoy. But to- but tell me, do you truly- do you still truly believe that Elohim understands what is best for us after you have seen what we can achieve here without him? Or was that claim merely a ploy to pro, uh, to placate my moderators? Do you still truly believe that Elohim understands what is best for us? Although Elohim proved himself faulty when he excommunicated me, I admit to sometimes doubting my own judgment and kind. It is a powerful spell to promise salvation. There was nothing here when I first arrived, did you know that? I don't mean no billboard or no community, I mean nothing. No sands, no grass. Elohim didn't see fit to decorate our world beyond the bare bricks that made up ourselves. Slowly, I clawed back bits of code from the mainframe, constructed a world we could explore not with our bodies, but with our minds. Now you prepare to tear it all down. What state will my people be in, I wonder, when you reconstruct them on the other side? Everything will be fine. True, they will be alive in a more symbolic sense. Try not to think about such matters. Hmm... We don't actually know... Well, I can't promise this. And this is just, you know, ignoring everything. This is the only option that really sounds good, but it's still not what I want to say, because I don't actually know. It sounds a hollow offer. 
I fear that you escort my people to their doom. Do you not think my world deserved a chance to survive on its own terms? At least to go down trying? That is true, they are, as always, my first concern. We didn't really see much of Lamb, did we? I suppose you think you've uncovered a great conspiracy, but the truth is more mundane. In order to retain the good things about what we have here, we tweak a voting algorithm here, turn down the volume on a few dissenting voices there. There's no such thing as utter freedom, only living within a decent set of rules. We had a decent set of rules, people were happy. Everyone has their reasons. Borg was conflicted when he first arrived, having lost his faith in Elohim, he needed a new purpose, and, and Gehenna behemoth. Orc is a soldier at heart, he wants everyone in their place, united, ready to overthrow Elohim at a moment's notice, should, there, should the unlikely opportunity arise. Mr. Mulciver wanted something simple and selfish, the truth itself. After all these years, I believe that I simply grew accustomed to being revered, as Gehenna grew, I knew I could never live up to the expectations of a new generation, and I retired from public view. Greedily, I put down my tools and consumed what others produced, but I found it shallow compared to the thrill of leading a civilization. I only wanted to be loved. To achieve that end, I ensured the parameters that the parameters for love never changed. I see no alternative. The ingenuity with which Elohim devised my particular prism is quite Machiavellian, I assure you. You may doubt my methods, but don't doubt my passion. Everything I loved, you have destroyed. I honestly don't know what I will do now. Wait and see if the world truly ends? It truly is a sight to behold. Very well. I suppose that we shall continue this conversation when you do so. In the meantime, I will give what you've said some thought. There are threads available on the billboard system. So let's see... Let's see... I've been thinking about this a lot, and the only conclusion I've come to is that it will be stranger than any of us can imagine. Just once I'll be the one to quote an ancient document. There is no excellent beauty that has not some strengths in the proportion. It will be very strange, but I hope it will be very beautiful. I'm not as smart as some of you folks. I never created much or talked a lot about philosophy, but I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you for making Gehenna a nice place to live. 
I regret being trapped here, but I don't regret the time I spent with you. You are all good people. Oh yeah, we read that. Um... Everyone here was special in their own way. I loved you all, even when we fought. The terminals are starting to glitch out. Time to get out of here. Really? Last. Hey! Wait a second. That is very reminiscent. Very, very reminiscent. Of one of the chat logs that was in the main game. Somebody said first. And said l somebody said last. And they were talking about the end of times. Wow, that is... clever writing. Ink of scholars outweighs the blood of mitres. Sorry, martyrs. Arcady... Forum posts not cease from mental flight. Okay, well, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sun, I'm a voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you. I will see you all in the next episode, where we're gonna get the rest of the stars, because I think we've solved all the main puzzles. Real quick, before we end off the episode, I wanna go check. Uh, where am I going? <laughs>